You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. This is Susan Schlichting with K-State Research and Extension and Extras from the Extension. Today we are on site at Photo Day Camp and I'm working here with Riley who's one of our 4-H volunteers. And Riley, why don't you tell us a little bit about 4-H, uh, 4-H Photo Camp in general and what it's about and who gets involved. Um, we started uh, Photo Day Camp a couple years ago as a way to teach the kids of the county um, photography basics and it's offered to kids that are in 4-H and not in 4-H and it provides them with a way of learning more about their cameras and more about photography. They get to have a fun day and they have a project to take home to the fair. So what kinds of, of activity sessions have they been involved in? What kinds of photo techniques have they learned today? Um, we've learned a lot of new techniques. Um, every year we try to incorporate new um, ways of taking photos that you wouldn't really think of. We have, we took pictures of foods, um, outside action shots, um, stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, the, the kaleidoscopes is one of those that's really popular usually, uh, using a kaleidoscope to catch caption, capture everyday images. Um, and another one, of course, our theme this year is let go my camera. So we had Lego sessions where the kids could even take pictures of Lego. And so they're, they're uh, getting to try lots of different techniques, lots of different angles of shooting a photo, and, and it'll be fun to see their final exhibits uh, when you come out to the Ellis County Fair. What, what do you say the kids that participate as campers in a day camp like this, what do they get out of this experience? Um, they get a camp experience without actually being at an overnight camp. Um, they get to spend a day um, learning and also having fun, recreation, water games. Um, and they get to spend time with 4-H friends or friends that they wouldn't normally see on a summer day. And we also involve a lot of teens in our program in teaching the classes, in being the camp counselors, leading the kids around to the different stations. What do you see as things that the camp counselors get out of this camp experience? Um, I know this year we have a lot of younger camp counselors that were actually campers in previous years, so I think that's helping them take a step towards more leadership in their clubs and their communities, like at school and stuff. And we also get a chance to um, see what it's like to plan one of these events, because I know a lot of us have went to them, we just haven't been able to plan them, so like contacting businesses about t-shirts and stuff like that um, gave more opportunities for leadership. Certainly, and, and this group of teens, a great many of them served on the planning committee, so they came up with the theme idea, they came up with the workshop ideas, they volunteered to teach, and so they had lots and lots of different roles in the planning process as well as carrying it out, and, and then at the end of the day we sit down and we evaluate and we talk about what went well, what didn't, what could we do differently next year if we offer this again, and so it's that whole planning process, and that's, that's a great skill set for people to have. Uh, do you see ways that you use those skills in other ways in your life? Um, I see myself using these skills all the time, especially 4-H skills, just being able to be comfortable talking in front of people, um, working with children, stuff like that has really helped me in everyday life through 4-H and this camp. And you've taken these camp counseling skills that you've gained as a camp counselor with this event the last few years and taken them on to the next step and gone to uh, Rock Springs and been a camp counselor for our, our uh, residential camp where we're there for four days. And, and so that's another whole dynamic of this camp experience that we hope that, that these first-timer counselors will take on. And, and what, what do you think that kind of an experience where you're, you're with them 24-7 for four days um, with campers, what do you think that that has done to help you? Um, I think that this camp has helped me because some of the kids are younger, they haven't been away from their babysitter or stuff like that, and they're, this is a full day, so they get more used to it and you get more um, used to kids complaining that it's hot or that they're hungry, so um, you get more used to being around the kids for an entire day, um, not just for a couple hours, so I think that's the most beneficial part is you get more time with the kids, yeah. And so now we're getting ready and we're excited to take a bus load over to Rock Springs here in a couple of weeks and, and uh, get to do that 24-7 thing, and it's always pretty awesome. So, Riley, thank you for joining us today. And we are at Photo Adventure Camp out at the Ag Research Center here in Hayes. This is Susan Schlichting and Riley with uh, Ellis County 4-H and Extras from the Extension. You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. 
spring is here and that means it's time to come out and visit Carrico Implement in Hayes, Kansas for all your lawn care needs. We stock and sell the full line of John Deere riding lawn equipment along with Honda walk behind mowers and generators. We also offer the full lineup of steel power products. If your project requires even more muscle, check out our full lineup of John Deere compact tractors and skid loaders. And don't forget, we have the parts and services to keep you up and running all spring long. So whatever your spring lawn care and maintenance needs are, come on out to Carrico Implement for a solution that fits.